Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Jacob Dev. In today's tutorial, we're going to introduce LogSec, which is a open source alternative for Notion. Um, sounds good, right? Uh, so that being said, let's get started. So uh, first, let's check out the LogSec GitHub page. So it has a lot of stars and a lot of people have been contributing to it. And the documentation is a little bit complicated. So in this tutorial, I'm going to make it very easy for you guys to set it up and use it. So basically, LogSec is a privacy first open source platform for knowledge management and collaboration. And so if you go to their documentation, they have um, different ways to set it up for development and for production, for web app and for mobile and for Windows and Linux. But it's overwhelming. There's a lot of stuff going on here. And so to set it up, it's actually fairly straightforward, which they have not documented exactly the steps, which I'm going to show you today. So if you go to kegel.com, uh, basically, uh, here's the steps, but before doing that, we can show you what LogSec uh, looks like. So here's a page for LogSec. Uh, you can basically can create journals, whiteboard, flashcards, uh, and also you can create um, like graph view, uh, which is awesome. And it's very like Notion.com. If you guys use Notion before, you must like this one. And it's free and open source, and you can also um, uh, develop using the API um, which I will also put in the video description um, so you can see that I did create a lot of logs uh, a lot of the journals and articles uh, you can do the same it's very similar to notion.com okay um, we'll do this a little bit later but uh, let's go to Kaggle first um, let's go through the steps to set it up so first we just uh, download github repo and basically we also need to um, basically link the uh, Conda node, which is the Kego default node, to the user bin node. So um, to do that, you just do a soft link and make sure the node is um, basically pointing to the Conda node. And after that, you basically run an npm install to install all the dependencies for LogSec. And then you do yarn install, which is you install all the uh, Node.js dependencies. After that, make sure you also install Clojure. So to install on Linux, you basically just uh, go to this link. Uh, I will paste this link also in the video description and just uh, use the curl command to, come, uh, to copy the Linux install script and make sure that you change the uh, um, permission and also uh, just do a uh, Linux install and it will install closer. After that, uh, just install Ungrok. We have uh, gone this many times. So we just skip that, uh, just uh, create a um, Python function to um, run bash commands and then install Ungrok via pip and then create a, a Ungrok um, token to the Ungrok console and paste it here and then pointing the port to 3001 which is where uh, LogSec is running uh, so you can see that the public Ungrok URL is pointing to localhost 3001 so this is basically um, you will be able to uh, access LogSec publicly publicly as I just showed you guys and then after that just do a uh, young watch so it's quite a little bit different that usually you set up Node.js but uh, just do that as young watch out of that we'll set up um, the HTTP server on port 3001 so but that's it so it's very straightforward uh, setup I hope this uh, is helpful because uh, I don't think this is actually demonstrated very clear on their documentation but uh, but that's it. So let's go to the uh, log sac. Um, uh, basically, go to this URL, and then you can see that uh, there's a journal. So you can create different journals. Just click create. You can create new page and whiteboard. So the new page basically is something that uh, you can see here. Like let's say I create a tutorial on Ader. So we see YouTube Ader tutorial, and I create another tutorial. Say I say how to learn AI. Uh, tutorial and then you can actually link different sections different journals pages uh, you can say okay I create different um, pages and journals and you can link them together uh, just uh, click a slash uh, it's called like slash um, a prompt so you can basically go to different sectors like uh, you can do a page reference page embed you can do links image and also different h tags and also uh, you can add a date 
and also you can add a status or waiting cancel deadline you can also uh, add a bunch of other stuff like html and also video url youtube um, timestamp all that stuff uh, code blocks cards very cool so and after everything is been added you also be able to see uh, how they're linked together and uh, because they're all cross-referenced you can also see from the graph view um, this is all like everything we created it's like a node right so, so node here you can select what node you want to include right you can want to say okay uh, from the journals orphan pages whatever right so you can basically link everything together and you can search it as well um, so basically after you create all these different uh, nodes or journals and cards basically they'll link them together you can click each node to see what is inside the node which is the uh, page so essentially that's the page we created so it's very cool stuff and also you can build a graph from the um, uh, I think you can build a graph from the local so that's what they actually recommend so if you go to the add graph so choose a folder that will be local folder so basically we'll build a folder in this way uh, on the right side so you can basically structure your local files and in a very structured way you can actually see how they're linked together basically um, and this is a very uh, cool product that definitely a uh, fashion to try out also you can have whiteboard so whiteboard is basically like uh, steps uh, also the uh, diagrams which is very cool you can actually see we're gonna link everything together just visually from the visual dashboard so uh, you just uh, click double click and then you can actually just click and create a block or page or whiteboard um, so you can link uh, different boards together as well so um, I know there's different products like Blue Seed or uh, other things um, very popular um, today but you can just use the log sack it covers a lot of things and super uh, this is super cool products um, so that's why I want to introduce you guys um, and that being said hope this video is helpful and if you like it please subscribe like or comment if you have any questions uh, thanks for supporting the channel see you in the next one